everyone and welcome back to Akitabu. Today I'm going to read you a very interesting story of the Amnesarima Blessed. I am nine years old, I'm in pre three and in Kigari Parent School. And today's book is Where is the Money? Where is the money? Donnie was reading a storybook. His friend was coming to visit him. There was a knock at the door. Donnie ran to the door and opened it. He was about to say something to his friends. But who did he see at the door? He saw his grandmother and his aunt. Grandmother, Aunt Mueni, Donnie shouted happily. His mother heard him. She also came to the door. Hello, mother. Hello, Mueni, she said as she took the basket the two, the two visitors were carrying. Welcome, welcome. Donia stood between his grandmother and his aunt. He was very happy. His aunt was about the same age as his mother. His grandmother was older, but she still looked very strong. She lifted Donia high in the air and swung him round at once. He laughed happily. The visitor sat down. Donia's mother called him to the door. She told him, here, take this money. Run to the shop quickly. Buy, buy two packets of the milk and packet of cakes. You know grandmother and aunt Mueni like cakes. Donia looked, took the money. He tied it to his handkerchief. He put the handkerchief in his pocket. The shop was not very far. To get there, Antonio had to cross a small river. Near the river, he saw some boys who had come to fetch water. Their containers were lying on the ground. The boys were playing an interesting game. Donia greeted the boys. They quickly answered him and went back to their game. Donia wanted to join the boys. I can join my friends and then continue to the shop. Donia said to himself. The game was very interesting. The boys jumped up and down and ran around bushes. After some time, Donia remembered the milk and the cakes. He quickly walked to the shop. He put his hand in the pocket. The handkerchief was not there. He turned his pocket, his pocket inside out. There was nothing. What could have happened? How shall I buy milk and the cakes? He asked himself. Donia walked back. He looked on the path. He looked on the sides of the path. He did not see the handkerchief or the money anywhere. He got to the river. It was very quiet. All his friends had gone home. He looked on the grass and over the bushes. He did not find anything. What shall I do? He asked himself again and again. Donia decided to go home. What will I tell mother? I am already light. I have no milk or cakes. He said, he, stop, he stopped and thought for some time. Mr. Masese and mother are good friends. I will ask him to give me the milk and the cakes. He said as he walked back to the shop. Please give me two cakes. Two cakes? Please give me two packets of milk and a packet of cakes, said Donia to Mr. Masese, the shopkeeper. Mother will pay you tomorrow. Mr. Masese gave Donia the milk and the cakes. Donia started walking home. He looked at the cakes. He put the packet close to his nose. The cakes smelled nice. He opened a corner of the packet. He broke a piece of cake and ate it. Mmm, it's very sweet, he said. He said. He broke another small piece, the, uh, then another. What am I going to tell mother about the cake? Perhaps some packets have only five cakes, he said as he ate the rest of the cake. Donia found his mother waiting at the door. She was very angry. You left here at 10 o'clock. It is now 12 o'clock. Why have you taken so long? Mother asked. Donia. Donia did not know what to say. He was ashamed to himself. Mother took the cakes. What happened to one of the cakes? She asked. Donia did not say anything. Oh, you ate it? Mother asked. 
I can see the bits of the cake on sides of your mouth. Donya quickly wiped his mouth. Later that afternoon, Donya's mother and the visitors walked to the shop. Donya's mother wanted to buy some things for the. What is that? Donya's aunt asked. Donya's mother picked it up. It was a handkerchief. It had some money tied to it. This is Donya's handkerchief, she said. How did he get the milk and the cakes without the money? Then Donya buy, buy some milk and cakes this morning. Donya's mother asked Mr. Mr. Masese. Yes, he said that you will pay tomorrow. Mr. Masese said. Donya's mother paid for everything. She said goodbye to the visitors and went home. When Donya's mother got home, she said, Donya, tell me what happened this morning. I'm sorry, mother, Donya said. I joined my friends who were playing by the river. I lost the money. I looked everywhere, but I could not find it. I did not want to come back without the milk and the cakes. So I told Mr. Masese that you will pay him tomorrow. And the cake, mother asked. I, I, I ate it. Donny. You should have waited to get home and eat with us. What you did today was wrong. Promise you will never you will not do that again, mother said. Yes, mother, I promise, Donny said. What did you learn about this book? Did you have an advice from me? And the advice I can say is like no distractions when someone tells you to do something. You have to do something the way someone told you to do and do it in the way, in the good way, in the better way. Don't join your friends when you, you are told to do something which is so important. Thank you. Here are some questions. Who was Ndonya waiting for? I repeat, who was Ndonya waiting for? Number two, what did Ndonya's mother send him to buy from the shop? I repeat, what did Ndonya's mother send him to buy from the shop? Number three, why did Ndonya stop near the river? Number three, why did Ndonya stop near the river? Number four, did Mr. Masese know Ndonya's mother? Number four, did Mr. Masese know Ndonya's mother? Number five, how many cakes did Ndonya eat before he got home? I repeat, how many cakes did Donya eat before he got home? Number six, where was the money found? Number six, where was the money found?